Ah, uh, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, before we get into what this video is going to be, I want to say apologies, I haven't really been uploading recently. Um, I've had a little break from YouTube, work has kind of like killed me off a little bit, and I'm still trying to get back to it, and used to being at work, even though it's been a month now. Um, so yeah, just bear with me, I am back now uploading, but um, yeah, just, just apologies that I was gone for... Nearly two weeks at this point. In fact, it has been two weeks. But anyway, we're back now. We're going to be talking more about football. Because um, a lot's gone on in the last two weeks. And I mean a lot. We've got all the transfer sagas between Barcelona and Messi. We've got Chelsea and... Oh, I'm fucking loving Abramovich right now. United have um, just about creeped in with some deals now. Everton are making some deals. Tottenham... Arsenal, City have made a couple, Liverpool haven't made one yet, no they've made one, the left back, Simakas, but anyway, we're going to be talking about all of that in a minute. The one I want to start off with is Messi and the Barcelona whole thing, that's just a fucking shit show. So here we go, I've wrote some notes on this so I don't have to like keep guessing and looking at other stuff, um, so... This is mental. So, let's go back to it. Um, Bayern Munich beat, Mes beat Messi, beat Barcelona 8-2 in the Champions League quarterfinals. Well, it's quarterfinals. Um, and Messi's not very happy about that. Essentially, the team is very, very, very old right now. And so, there's changes needed. We'll get into that. So, they lose 8-2. Messi's not very happy. On the night, the average age of the whole squad was 30 years old. Now, for Barcelona, when you when you say the word Barcelona, you think of a unreal team with unreal talent. I don't know if that's true anymore. Obviously, they've got unreal players like Messi to Stegen, Suarez, Griezmann. You know, they've got really, really, really good players. But these players are all going. <laughs> well, apart from to Stegen. So they put seven players out of 11 on the transfer list. I believe the only ones that aren't on there is Lenglei or Longley, um, to Stegen, Messi and De Jong. Those are the only four that are staying. So Barcelona sacked their manager two days after getting thrashed 8-2 to Bayern Munich. And so they got a new manager in the name of Ronald Koeman. Now, he was a legend of the club. I don't know if he's going to be such a legend by the time he's done. He's rung up Suarez. It's been a minute or less of a phone call, according to Suarez. And he's gone, you ain't in my plans. And now he's trying to terminate his contract. What's that all about? Messi wants to leave. La Liga have gone up. You know, we're going to get into Messi. Well, first of all, I want, to, I want to start off with Barcelona. PK said he would leave, but no one's coming for him yet. I don't think they will, to be honest. He's, he's old. I mean, the whole team is old. Rakitic has left. Um, Sevilla sold him for a uh, fee of £16.8 million. So I think it was about 18 million euros, 19 million euros. Um, and I've bought him back for £1.3 million. It's believed to be about another £2.8 million with add-ons. So overall about, what, 4.2 mil? Not bad. I mean, I know he's old and he's missed most... I mean, I know he's old now. He's 32. And so he's missed his peak years with Sevilla. But at the end of the day, the guy's got experience. He's played for Barcelona since the year 2014, I believe. Yeah. So he's been there for six years. He knows what he's doing. And that's going to be good for a team like Sevilla. They've just won the um, Europa League. And they're going to be looking at, you know, maybe getting first or second in the, in the, in the league. Especially if Messi leaves. I mean, they are looking at some great players. They're looking at Genie Wijnaldum. Uh, they're also looking at Mane. So they're having a little Liverpool haul by the looks of it. They were also looking at Onana, Andre Onana, the Ajax goalkeeper. But I don't think he is going to go anywhere this summer. Um, it's a shame because Chelsea wanted him as well. And at the moment, I don't really know who else is going to go. There was talks of Latalo Martinez, but there's been no rumours um, in the last two weeks. But anyway, on to Messi and the whole transfer saga between that. So, as I said, Messi or Barcelona got beaten 8-2. Messi said he wasn't happy and that he wanted to leave. They said he wasn't going to leave. Um, and there was just all this talks. The president said that he would leave if it meant that Messi would stay. Because everybody at that club hates the president. I'm not really too sure the ins and outs of it. But essentially, they hate him. Fans, 
staff, everyone hate the, the um, president of Barcelona. There was then all these clauses that came out where Messi said that he could potentially be able to leave Barcelona for free and Manchester City out of nowhere started to get their money out. They got their wallets out. They're sat there with the money on the table. Like, how much do you want a month, buddy boy? And then La Liga slap them in the face and tell them to get in the bin. La Liga come out with a statement saying that if any club wants to buy Messi, they'll have to pay the buyout clause. What's that, ladies and gentlemen? I hear you ask. Oh, What's the buyout clause, Joe? 700 million. That's correct, ladies and gentlemen. 700 and million, 700 and million euros. Well done, Joe. You can English. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. 700 million euros, which equates to about 620 million pounds. And you know what, you know what I hear? Oh, that's right. Show's over, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing's happening. Messi is going nowhere. Messi then came out and said, hey, that buyout clause isn't actually a thing. That expired a little while ago. Um, so where's the 700 million come from? And then Messi, Messi, ladies and gentlemen, gets slapped in the face. That wasn't a very good one. Slapped in the face with a... Yes, it is. There is a 700 million euro buyout clause on your contract, buddy boy. So suck it. And then Messi... Fucking classic Lionel Messi has a little strop. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The man that is worth 620 million has a strop. Oh, dear. He didn't turn up for testing. He didn't turn up for training. And now it's rumored that he's going to sit the entire season out so that he can leave. Madness. <laughs> I mean, the guy's 33, nearly 34. Does he really have that time to do that? Does he? I don't know. So yeah, essentially, by the looks of it, Messi's going to be going nowhere this season. Um, it would have been cool to see him in the Premier League, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So there you go. That is the T on the um, Barcelona and Messi kind of situation. It's a bit of a shit show at the moment, but hey, you never know. They might be able to put it back. I mean, ultimately, the last big, big player they bought was to Stegen in 2014. And Luis Suarez in 2014. Now, I know some of you are going to go, oh, what about Griezmann? He's done fuck all at that club. 120 million euros. So still though, 120 million euros. And he's played 35 games, got nine goals and four assists in the league as a striker. What? <laughs> I mean, the guy's in his prime as well. So that kind of shows, like he's on the end of his prime. So that kind of shows it to you. Like... Yeah, he has to kind of, um, he has to leave, I'm afraid. Well, I'm not afraid, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, he has to leave. It hasn't worked out for him. He's only been there a season, but yeah, it, it hasn't worked out. But yeah, so I don't really know what's going to happen with Barca. We'll see. The only other thing I really wanted to talk about was um, what was going on in the Premier League. Like, what's happening? So, I mean, you've got Arsenal. Um, I don't actually know who Arsenal have brought in yet. So, I mean, the biggest one is Thomas Partey. Partey could be on his way to Arsenal from Atletico. This is literally a transfer rumour every single transfer window. They've signed Gabriel Magaus. I don't know how to say his name, from Lille. He's a defender for £27 million. He looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, fair play. They got Willian from Chelsea on a free transfer. Um, they got Cedric. I think he was on loan, so they secured that. They've got them rid of nobody that you're going to know. Great. Brighton have got Adam Lallana on a free. Um, they've got rid of Montoya, Glenn Murray. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm going to skip Chelsea for the moment because we'll go back to them. So we've got Everton who have bought Unkunku from Marseille for 250 grand. Leighton Baines has retired. That's a big one. Schneidlin has gone to Nice. Um, Nias has been released. Um, all these different players. Yep, sure. Leeds have done a good deal. They got Rodrigo from Valencia for £27 million. That's brilliant. We've got Liverpool have brought in Simakas from Olympiacos, £11.75 million. Uh, they've sold Lovren and they've got rid of Lalana as well. Man City have done great. They've brought in Ferran Torres or Ferran Torres for £20.8 million from Valencia. Brought in Nathan Ake as well for £41 mil. Um, but they have lost Leroy Sane to Bayern for uh, 50 point, 54.8 mil. 
and obviously David Silva's gone, and they've released Claudio Bravo. Man United, just in. Donny van der Beek. Fair play. Fair play. He looks like a great player for my axe. I actually just like that club now, aren't they? That produce absolute banging players and then they go off to better clubs. Can't believe they've got rid of Angel Gomez to Lille. He looked like a great player. Uh, Alexis Sanchez has gone to Inter Milan for free as well. Tottenham have brought in Matt Doherty to, from Wolves. And Joe Hart on a free. That was a bit of an odd one. Jan Vertonghen has gone to Benfica for free. And Juan Yama has gone to Montreal Impact in, the Lille, uh, in MLS for free. There's been a lot of free transfers so far. But anyway, let's just go back to Chelsea. Um, oh boy. Let's have a little look at who we brought in, okay? Timo Werner from RB Leipzig. Hakim Ziyech from Ajax. Thiago Silva for free. Mboyamba from Barcelona. Ben Chilwell from Leicester. And Malang Saar from Nice, who's gone out on loan again, I believe. Obviously, we've got rid of William and Pedro. But you know what? I'm fucking excited for next season. Put it that way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited. And we're still linked with more players. We've still got Havertz to come, which by the sounds of it, that's a done deal. It just needs to be announced now. And we're also looking at another goalkeeper. In particular, Donnarumma. I don't know if this is actually going to happen anymore. I don't think it will. Um, it doesn't look like it is because it's kind of like died down a little bit. Yeah, nothing's really been talked about in the last few days. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to happen. We're also looking at uh, Edouard Mendy um, uh, from Nice. No, I don't know anymore. From Rennes, sorry, or Rene. Um, so yeah, that's a great two options. And we're also on about keeping Kepa because Czech has backed him. So fair play, I guess. If I'm being completely honest, I'm just stoked at the players that we brought in. We've made the uh, centre-back with Thiago Silva. Maybe we need another one. Um, to be honest, I don't like Rudiger. I don't like Zuma. I don't like Christensen. They're all a bag of shit. Very, very glad that we've got Ben Chilwell as well. For a lot cheaper than we were expecting. 50 mil instead of 80 mil. Um, obviously, Hakim Ziyech, incredible. The pass that he did onto hudson Adoy and Werner scored. That pass was insane. Literally inch perfect to um, hudson Adoy. Werner's got his first goal or an unofficial goal because it was a friendly against Brighton. I'm very happy with the squad, especially if we bring in Havertz and Donnarumma. That's going to be... Um, I'm so excited for next season. I cannot wait. Let me know in the comments what teams you support and who you want to bring in and who you think other clubs are going to bring in. Do you think Messi's going to leave? Do you think that's going to be enabled? Do you think that any big players are going to come? Gareth Bale, uh, Everton are linked with James Rodriguez. Inter Milan are apparently interested in Kante. Who knows? And the camera's just run out of battery. Lovely. You know what? We're going to end this video without the camera because my other batteries are dead as well. I hope you have enjoyed the video. As I did say, if you want to go comment your teams and who you want to bring in and who you think other teams should bring in, let me know in the comments. I will be replying to everybody. Let's have a cool little conversation down there. But anyway then, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. If you did enjoy it, then please smash the like button, comment all this down below, subscribe, share the video around, all that good stuff. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and peace.